Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. I'm enjoying my uh, Medico BFO, I think it is, uh, with some Watch City slices, nice uh, burly slices. Still haven't made up my mind about these. Um, they're they're good. They're you know the way I've been talking about them is that you know if you've got the OTC burleys at one end of the spectrum and at the other end you've got things like uh, Solani H burley flake uh, or H burley slices whatever it is these are going to be more to the OTC end of the spectrum and that's not a bad thing I, I love OTC burleys but I was really hoping to find a bulk burley flake that you know I could enjoy and this isn't going to be it. Um, it's not bad. It, there's nothing terrible about it. It's just not giving me what I had hoped to get out of a, uh, a slice like this. So, I can't recommend them if what you're looking for is something like uh, you know, Solani or the H&H &H Burley. Uh, but if you just want to try a, another Burley, it, it's pretty good. I do um, recommend drying them a little bit, drying it a little bit. I don't normally dry tobacco, and this one isn't isn't terribly wet. I mean, I can smoke it without drying it, but the top note on it is a little more than I'd like. Um, it's very similar to what you would get with something like Carter Hall. I am. I just like it to be a little bit less. So, you know, again, this is all personal preference. I'm not, I'm not trying to present a negative view of Watch City slices. I like them. I like them. I like it. Um, but probably won't uh, be ordering again. I also like this Mitka. These these little, you know, the Medcos the the gray bows, those sorts of things, the, the yellow bowls, they, they just smoke very well. And, you know, for what you pay for these second hand, I mean, it's silly. You can get them for under $10. So they're wonderful. When, when I'm down here working in the shop, I can, you know, set it down on the edge of the table when I'm working on the lathe and not have to worry if I knock it off because I can find another one for ten dollars. So I want to talk a bit about uh, a question that I got in, in one of the comments from my last video but before I get to that I just want to give you a couple of um, updates coming attraction type things so I want to remind you that this Friday night um, there will not be a live stream uh, it's Good Friday and as a uh, Catholic I am doing other things on Good Friday uh, but I will make a video I hope to make a video on Sunday although it is Easter Sunday I ain't doing anything because you know <laughs> so I'll, I'll probably make a, a, a video on Sunday maybe a short one even just wish, wishing you all a happy Easter unless you're Orthodox and then I Wish you a future happy Easter. Uh, the Orthodox will get that joke. Um, so, not this Friday, but the following Friday, which I should have gotten the date of, but I did not, so I apologize for that. Um, that will be uh, the Artful Codger. Uh, ben will be joining us uh, as a guest for the live stream, and I'm certainly looking forward to that. Uh, you guys all probably know the Artful Codger quite well, uh, but we're going to get to know him a bit better, and I think it's going to be a real fun uh, time, great conversation. And also, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, I will have a uh, live stream for uh, my live stream giveaway that I do in the middle of the month. Hope you can all join that. Uh, it is going to be a pipe, and I'll <clears throat> I'll probably make an announcement about exactly what's going to be in the giveaway on Sunday. 
so hopefully you'll be able to join me for that. That is going to be Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And the Artful Codger interview will be not this Friday, but the following Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you, hope you can tune in for those things. We're, we'll, we'll definitely have some fun. So the question I got, and I'm going to need a prop for this, so let me get this other pipe. The uh, question I got was, how do you go about opening up the airway in a pipe? I hope this one will work for what I'm trying to do. How do you go about opening up the airway in a pipe if you don't have specialized tools and you don't have a big budget for power tools, etc., etc.? And this was from, uh, I think it was Chris W. asked this. And it's a good question. Uh, the, the, the answer that I feel compelled to give you is send it to someone that can do it. Um, that doesn't really necessarily fit with the budget idea, but... Uh, you know, most guys will do that at a fairly reasonable price. I, I don't have it listed as a service, so I, I'd have to think about what the price would be. Uh, but, you know, there's other folks like um, Briarville uh, that would do that. Uh, I would guess that Tim West does it. I, I don't know. But, you know, there's plenty of other uh, guys out there. Sorry, Sorry folks. Between and furnaces and batteries running down, I don't think this video wants to be made. Anyway, um, I was talking about reaming the airway. And or enlarging the airway. And I think the last thing that I had said was that uh, there are plenty of folks, myself included, but other folks like uh, Rick at Briarville or, or Tim West that will uh, likely be able to, to enlarge the airway for you. And that's the best way to go, just because guys like that have been doing it for a while and they know how to not create damage, I guess is the best way to put it. Now, if you want to do it yourself and you don't have the tools, um, I have these three drill bits, and I've just mounted these in a dowel, piece of dowel. I turned them a bit just so they're comfortable in my hand. Uh, drilled them with the same bit that I'm going to put in there, and then just put some epoxy in and stick the bit in, and these have been good for years. I use these to ream the airway, so sometimes you get a fair amount of cake built up in the airway and you need to ream it. And <coughs> so I don't really use them for um, for enlarging the airway, but they can be used that way. Now these range, um, so the smallest one is 9 64ths. So 8, eight 64 is 1 eighth, um, right, because 8 times 8 is 64. So 8 sixty-fourths is 1 eighth. So these are 9 sixty-fourths, 5 thirty seconds, which is 10 sixty-fourths, and 11 sixty-fourths. So it's it's going up a 30 second of an inch from just above 1 eighth to um, the largest one, which is 11 sixty-fourths. And I don't think you want an airway with a bigger diameter than 11 sixty-fourths. So I'm holding too many things in my hands here. Um, the way you would do this, uh, this is the smallest one, so this is the, the 964ths. Um, and, and by the way, uh, so you don't want anything bigger than 1164ths, and 1 8th is too small. I have found pipes that have a 1 8th airway, but they're rare and they don't smoke well. So you don't need a 1 8th. Um, you would just take the, and this one is already opened up enough, but you would just take this, you would find that airway and it will begin to sit in there because it's only a 32nd of an inch off the diameter so it will find its place and you just sort of sit here gently turning it and advancing it until it goes all the way through and, and again this one doesn't need to be reamed out but you get the idea uh, so that's the the best way I can say to do this by hand without any great investment in tools you just need three drill bits um, if you got um, if you, if you want to just cut some dials and do that, that's fine. Uh, you can get these, uh, little pin vices, and I'll explain why I have this in a minute, but these things are, if you can find them big enough, they're great, and you, know, you can put the drill bit in there and, and just hold it that way. Or you can even get a drill chuck, either find one off an old drill, or this is one with a, uh, 
number two Morse taper on it for, for using on a lathe that I got from Harbor Freight for I think ten dollars. So you, you can do this fairly inexpensively. Now that gets your your briar reamed out but the problem and, and this is why I really don't recommend folks do this themselves is that you don't just want the briar reamed out. It's very important that the airway is one continuous passage all the way uh, beginning at the tobacco chamber and ending at the button and you do not want that to have steps in it. If you have steps in it that's where you're going to have moisture accumulate that's where you're going to get gurgling. So what you can do is you can buy one of these. So this is a tapered drill bit. And hopefully you can see the end is pointy and it tapers. And this is a longer one. I get these from Vermont Freehand. Um, I don't remember how much they are. They're more expensive than your average drill bit. Um, but they're reasonable enough. You know, maybe eight, twelve dollars, something like that. And what you would do then is you would take the stem and starting from this end, you would want to very slowly advance this in and turn. And with vulcanite, you can get away with this. With acrylic, acrylic tends to crack easily. So I don't know if I'd recommend doing it with acrylic. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to take you a long time to get this. And, and what you want to do is basically get it down to there. Oops. You know, so, somewhere in that range. And then the rest of this you're going to want to make sure it's properly funneled and I did not get the tool out for that. This is once again a tool that you can get from Vermont Freehand. Uh, I think he calls them slot funneling tools and you would go in this way and you would just file until you get that sort of v-shaped funnel that would meet up with the point of this. So depending on how far up here you go, then you would come down in here and funnel it out. So I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit hard to explain just by pointing and holding up parts of pipes, but I think you get the idea. That is the best way that I know of doing it without um, ah, tools falling all over the place here. I, I don't have a very big table in front of me to, to hold these things. And there goes my lighter. I'll be right back. So that is the best way I know of doing it uh, without an investment in power tools. If you got a drill press, then you could probably rig something up. Again, it's going to be the same process, but it'll be a little bit easier, a little bit faster. Just be careful. You know where to stop, especially on the, the stumble, because you don't want to get over ambitious and actually wind up putting a hole on the side or even a divot on the side which could lead to burnout. So make sure you got some kind of a stop so that you know when you've reached the end of the airway. Well I hope you found that helpful. Somewhat interesting for a Wednesday. I don't have much to, uh, to really talk about beyond that. Uh, I'm doing what we're all doing, uh, just hunkering down and waiting for this mess to be over. And we're happy, we're healthy. We're doing everything we can to be safe. I'm going to go out tomorrow to make a grocery store run. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So far it's been no issue. Uh, you know, I've been able to get everything I need and the stores aren't overly crowded and people are generally kind and courteous so uh, all is going well the light is appearing at the end of the tunnel my friends so just keep focused on that keep being positive uh, I hope you are all well and uh, all your friends and family are as well so with that guys I'm going to sign off uh, take care and I will see you on Sunday have a happy Easter